Hello there, welcome to our channel Trendy Movie Recap. Our channel gives you movie briefs while capturing the moral of the movie storyline. Please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to be notified every time we post a video in future. This video is based on a movie titled The Old Guard. The movie begins with a woman, Andy, narrating while she and her team lie down after being shot. She is later walking on the streets in Morocco where a man, Booker, comes up to her on a bike. He stops and parks it on the side of the path after which they start walking together talking as she hands him a book. They stop at a place where a woman is taking photos with her friends and captures Andy in the background. She takes her phone and deletes the picture and then takes another one for them and gives back her phone. They come to a house where they meet two men, Nikki and Joe who welcome them, hugging Andy. They give her a cake which she eats and guesses all the ingredients as they bet on it. Booker wins the bet when she guesses all right. They talk of a mission they plan to go on and decide to go meet the man, James Copley, who owns the mission. Booker and Andy go to meet him and talk for a while about the mission, as well as him leaving. The CIA, Nikki is holding a sniper gun aiming at Copley, while Joe listens to the conversation. Andy and her team are flown out to South Sudan after which they walk through a dry and mountainous area. They get to a fenced area where Nikki shoots the guards, and then they break in where they kill even more guards. They get to a building which they blow the door off and go in, intending to rescue some kids. Lights go on and a group of armed men shoot them until they exhaust their bullets. They confirm their death and start talking and are startled when they wake up. Andy and her team attack the men, killing them all and realizing they had been set up by Copley. They bury their clothes and head out with a plan of finding Copley and hiding their identity. In Afghanistan, soldiers are looking for a man in a village showing a photo to everyone and asking questions. The sergeant sends lady soldiers, Nile, Dizzy and Jordan, to talk to women deep in the buildings. Who direct them where the man is? Nile leads the team in to get the man and shoots him just as he is about to shoot her. She tries to help him not to die, but refuses her help then cuts her throat just before he dies. She bleeds out on the ground while Dizzy tries to stop the bleeding calling out to medics to help. Andy and her team are on a train when they get visions of Nile being cut on the neck and wake up. Nile also gets vision of Andy's team and wakes up just as they plan to go get her as Joe draws a picture of her. Andy heads out to get Nile and instructs the rest go to a safe house in France while still in search of Copley. Jordan and Dizzy go to the army hospital to check on Nile and find her awake and fully recovered. A man, Stephen Merrick, is giving a presentation about his company as Copley watches on. He later shows him the video of Andy's team fighting after being shot to which he insists on getting hard proof. Niall is working out when the sergeant instructs her to pack her bags and leave for Germany to get more tests. She goes into her barrack and finds her comrades talking and laughing and her bags already packed. She takes her phone, goes out and sits listening to music on her phone through her earphones. Some soldiers show up and tell her the ride is ready after which Andy shows up and beats them up. Andy is carrying Niall in an armored vehicle when she wakes up and finds her eating. She kicks the door and jumps out the back onto the road to which Andy stops the vehicle. Just as she is about to run Andy shoots her after which they talk and she convinces her to go back into the vehicle. They drive to a place where they find a plane and one of Andy's friends with whom they fly off. During the flight Andy and Niall talk for a while after which she dozes off. On waking up she finds Niall pointing a gun at the pilot and has tied her up. Andy tricks her into untying her after which they fight for a while until Andy breaks Niall's arm and leg. They get to France in an abandoned house where they find the rest of Andy's team and sit down to have dinner. They talk for a long while about who they are and when they realized they had their gift. Nikki shows Niall where to sleep and later they all sleep except for Andy. Niall is awakened by a vision of a woman named Gwyn and awakens everyone else telling them of this. They narrate Gwyn and Andy's story to her as Andy listens, after which she storms out followed by Andy. As they talk outside they hear sounds coming from the building and realize that the others have been attacked. They go back and find Booker on a seat unconscious, and with a huge injury on the abdomen. Andy wakes him up as Niall looks around for Nikki and Joe in the other rooms. Copley orders the soldiers to find and catch Andy who beats and kills them as he watches.
Nile is startled on seeing how many people Andy has killed by herself. They run and find Andy waiting then get into a car with which they drive off. Nikki and Joe are in the back of an armored vehicle with four guards as Joe checks on Nikki. The armored vehicle comes to a stop where Copley and Merrick's bodyguards are waiting. On opening the door a guard falls out while others lay dead inside which startles everyone. They take Joe and Nikki and put them in a plane as Copley follows in. Andy drives Nile and Booker to a hideout somewhere deep in the mountains. Nile looks around and finds artifacts as well as weapons from a long time ago while Andy and Booker make a fire. Nikki and Joe arrive at Merrick's office accompanied by guards with guns pointed at them as well as Copley. Merrick welcomes them and introduces himself after which he talks of the company and the anticipated achievements. He stabs Joe several times in demonstration to his doctor of their power. They are injected with some drugs that make them unconscious then carried to the doctor's lab. Andy later realizes that she is still bleeding from a stab wound she got during the fight. She changes her jacket then goes out leaving Booker and Niall who talk about their lives. Booker talks of how people think you're selfish when they suffer and die yet you are still alive and healthy. Andy comes to a store to buy supplies where the attendant helps in dressing her wound as they talk. She comes out and gets in her car where she remembers a time when one of her soldiers died. Merrick and Copley are talking while tests continue to be done on Nikki and Joe at his lab. Nikki talks to Merrick's doctor while on a bench as she takes samples of his body tissues. The doctor leaves just as Joe regains consciousness after which he and Nikki talk for a while. Niall is awakened by a memory when she shot the man in Afghanistan. She goes out and finds Andy leaning on the car eating candy while looking at her phone. Andy gives her the phone where she shows him her father, mother and brother. As they talk Booker comes out and tells them he has found Copley after which Andy takes the phone back. They drive out to Copley's residence in England and as they prepare to go in, Niall refuses. Andy gives her the gun she was given by Booker and tells her to take the car and head home. She takes another gun and catches up with Booker with whom they go in. As Niall drives off, she comes across a motorcade of cars including armored vehicles from the army. She stops the car after they pass and opens the trunk to check for other weapons as she puts the pistol back. She realizes the pistol had no bullets and Booker set them up and goes back to Copley's house. Andy leads as they go into a room, where they find Copley, who does not seem bothered by their presence. As Andy talks with Copley, Booker shoots her and ties her hands as she screams in anger. Copley explains why he did this as he shows Andy of her history. As Booker explains his side of this, he notices that she is still bleeding and sends Copley to get something. As they try to nurse the wound, Merrick comes in with his bodyguards, and is alerted of the situation. They give Andy and Booker an injection that makes them unconscious. As they leave, one of the bodyguards knocks out Copley who falls to the ground. They are brought to the lab where Nikki and Joe are held as Merrick gives instructions to the doctor. The doctor says she will stitch Andy's wound then take tests on her. Merrick exchanges words with Nikki after which he leaves. Niall comes in and finds Copley nursing his neck where he was hit. They talk about Andy and her achievements over the years she's been alive which amazes her. Copley talks of his wife after which he says he will take her to Merrick's company building. He drives her to the company and gives her a key card to use while accessing the rooms in the building. She leaves him and goes up the elevator to a floor where he meets guards who shoot her on noticing her gun. As they check her identity, she wakes up and shoots them. Joe angrily shouts at Booker after he realizes he is the one who set them up. She goes into a room where she finds Merrick and asks him about the lab. More guards show up and attack to which she runs and leaves Andy's weapon. Merrick takes it as he is taken to the penthouse by his bodyguard. Niall goes in and frees Andy and the team while Joe still expresses his anger on Booker. As Merrick checks out Andy's weapon, she and her team go out and start fighting with the guards. They go killing all who attack while covering Andy from being shot. The leader of the guards fights with Joe and Nikki and shoots Nikki inside his mouth. Andy picks up an axe and goes in attacking the guards and cutting them up. Nikki wakes up next to Joe with whom they follow the others who are still fighting.
They all meet at a place where Andy has beaten one of the guards who directs them to Merrick's location. They agree to do what they did in 1834 in Sao Paulo, then leave in different directions. Merrick and his guards await their arrival at the door as Niall tries to convince Andy to wear a bulletproof vest. Joe comes in surprising them through the window while Andy destroys the door with a grenade. Joe fights and kills the guard's leader who shot Nikki, while the rest kill all the remaining guards. They notice the elevator going down to which they ran after suspecting it to be Merrick. Andy and Niall are left talking while the rest go after Merrick. Merrick turns up holding Andy's weapon and a gun with which he swears on shooting Andy. Andy and Niall trick him where Andy cuts him with the weapon and Niall jumps with him off the building. The team meet and help Niall out of the car they fall into after which they get into a car and drive off. People gather to take pictures of the scene as police arrive. The team discusses what they will do to Booker as he stands outside drinking beer when Niall comes out to talk to him. Andy comes out with a decision and tells him about it after which they hug and part ways. The team heads out to Copley's house where they read their stories which he had gathered. Andy gives an order to Copley to protect them from any threats in the future as a punishment for what he did. Six months later, Booker comes home in Paris, and just as he opens the door his beer falls down, and the bottle crashes. The movie ends when he gets into the house and finds Gwyn taking a drink. Please subscribe to our channel for more of such videos, share our videos, and leave a comment.